how far can a 2023 Hummer EV tow a 30-foot Airstream? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Steve from the All Electric family, and today I'm going to be using this 2023 Hummer EV to tow our 30-foot Airstream that currently weighs about 7,500 pounds, and we're going to take it on a test. We'll go 55 miles an hour for about 15 miles one way and then 15 miles another and see what the consumption is like, and then we'll use that to calculate the numbers of this 213 kilowatt hour battery pack in this Hummer to determine how far it can tow on 100% battery life. So let's get into it. We got it all hitched up. Now we're gonna go get in the vehicle and take it to our starting spot, reset the trip odometer and get going with this test. So right away when you hook it up, it recognizes what trailer that we have on there. Well, I, it recognized they had a trailer and I had to pick uh, ours, which is Jesse. And then what it doesn't do is it doesn't put it in tow haul mode. So you wanna make sure and turn the dial here until you get to tow haul mode. And then that should activate everything we have the uh, trailer bake brake gain and usually 4.0 for this one is pretty good so i will leave it there and see if that is still what we need but let's go get on the road always want to make sure the trailer brake is working and it's definitely activating the trailer brakes so we have that going now i'm going to get out and make sure that the trailer is level and everything's looking good. It looks like it wants to put it in the entry and exit ride height. I'm not sure <clears throat> if that's actually what's going to happen once I get going down the road, but I will check that. That would be convenient because that would put it you would think at the most efficient but let's see i don't know if you guys can see that but it does look pretty dang level and that is on that standard ride height so i wouldn't want to go down too much further but yeah we'll see what happens once we're going down the road a couple beautiful things on this is when you're turning it puts on a side camera so you can see where your inside uh, wheels are at like when you're turning so that is super awesome as you can imagine this thing weighs 9500 pounds and you can barely feel the trailer back there at all <laughs> now you can see your consumption decreasing quite a bit but you know this is already a very inefficient EV and you put a trailer behind it, it is obviously going to make it a lot less efficient. So I am curious just how bad of efficiency it will be. But the stability of towing is the best I've felt so far. And just the ride of this vehicle isn't compromised uh, on the road. And so yeah, it's already very stable. Can't feel it back there. Just passed a semi. Didn't feel a thing. So we'll see if that changes. You're supposed to be able to use Super Cruise. So once I actually get on the highway with this test, I will update you on that if that is possible and how that feels with the trailer behind you. It'll be a bit nerve wracking. But anyways, that is just so cool how it turns on the camera when you turn on your blinker 
so you can see where you know which way that you're turning that side of the trailer and truck love it great feature for towing okay so just getting started here we have it in trailer mode and right away super cruise pops up and here we are using super cruise as we're going down the highway it's flashing at me because i am blocking my face with the phone and this is not like that feels pretty stable all right we're just gonna let it sit there we'll see you in about 10 15 miles so i talked to you about the stability of it the super cruise that all works good while towing Let's talk about the rear view mirrors, or sorry, the side view mirrors. It is such a wide vehicle. Even the small mirrors that it has on there, you can see pretty far back on the trailer. So for this, it works better than the Lightning and the Rivian as far as those electric vehicles go. And that's just because it is such a wide vehicle. So let me show you here. I don't know if you can tell that from there. But you can see pretty good. And then also, when you're wanting to change lanes or something like that, I mean, man. You can really see on the side of it. The only thing I would ask for is if they would allow you just to turn that on. That would be nice. Super Cruise is great while trailering. That's super nice. The one thing I did notice is that you cannot do auto lane change while trailering. This has worked for us really well in the past. So it, it is a great feature when you're not trailering, but yeah, when you're towing, it does not work. So we're coming up to our 15 mile mark and it is sitting way better than I thought. At 15 miles, we are at 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Now I do have to make reference to the wind. The wind is practically non-existent coming from the south, which is hitting us broadside. And so we aren't dealing too much with that, but we did dip down to one mile per kilowatt hour. And we also have an elevation change of just about 150 feet uh, decreasing. So we will be going back up to our uh, regular like 1100 feet. So I know that consumption will decrease as we go back west but already doing way better than i thought <laughs> at 1.1 that would be for towing with an ev some crazy range it would also make me believe that you know the tesla cyber truck if it can get 500 miles per or yeah 500 miles on charge it could be a pretty good towing ev truck but let's see how it goes it'll more than likely drop down like i said holy cow guys 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour that is not what i expect i thought it would do a lot worse than that so we went 31.3 miles got 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour it was kind of wavering in between 1 and 1.1 but that's what we ended with and so that would mean we could go 200 and 34 miles on a 100% charge with this 213 uh, usable kilowatt hour battery pack. I, you know, the, what's racing through my mind though is, is it efficient enough to actually be used? Because it is such a large battery pack. When you go to a charger, it will take longer to charge. Only time will tell with that. I have not been able to do any charging tests because chargers aren't working. Uh, so anyways, I am uh, a bit blown away by this. You tell me down below, do you think this is usable in a towing scenario because of the large battery pack? All right, I'm blown away. But anyways, 
We'll see you on the next one, guys.